Hey guys, so this is the second part of uh, the series of creating a web server in Golang using a package called Echo. So in the first part, if you remember, uh, we created a simple hello world uh, and we basically set up the project. So um, we had one endpoint which uh, returned uh, a string and that's about it. Um, so in this one, in this part, we're going to talk about uh, how to pass, how to get information from a URL, from a query params, meaning uh, using, let's say, uh, uh, something like this, and maybe, I don't know, let's say, uh, something like this. So the basically in query params, uh, uh, it's following after the path, uh, question mark, a key equals a value and end symbol uh, for another key in another, another value and etc. and etc. And uh, we're going to talk about URL params, which are basically used for, let's say this is a path and this will be an ID. So this will be a number and this will be the continuous of the path so let's say uh, i don't know something like that so this will be the uh, url param and we'll talk about those two also we're going to talk about how to return a json instead of a simple string and how to insert information inside of string or inside the json and that will be enough for uh, the short video that we have. So let's get started. So if you remember, um, this is the code we had and we have it on uh, GitHub under uh, the branch uh, of the first part in the link of the first video, which I will add in the description. So let's see. First, let's add uh, another endpoint. So let's say it will be also a get. It will be, let's say, Cats. Why? Because we're going to talk about cats. Because it's always fun. Yeah, so let's do a get cats function. Let's create it. It's uh, like the yellow uh, function to get an echo context and return an L, oops. Cool, now let's get, let's say we want to pass in the URL a query param of a name of the cat and uh, the type of it. So let's say cat name will be uh, We'll call it just a name. Oops, sorry. Come on. And the cat type will be just the type. So now that we are getting those, let's put them into use. So let's return again a string for now let's say it will be http 200 and let's create a new string let's use fmt s print f so basically we're passing here that was string and we're inserting uh, uh, the variables inside of it so let's say Your cat name is, and let's put a string, uh, and let's say on a new line, oops, and this type is, and let's put the type here. Cool. So let's end up with a new line and let's the first one will be the cat name and the second will be the cat type. Cool. 
cool that looks that looks okay so now let's build it let's first um, export go paths because I'm continue, continuing continuing uh, from a new uh, tunnel session so let's say go pass on the current directory and let's install oops and run it cool now let's try the cat endpoint see it, the variables returning obviously empty now let's say name will be arnold and type will be fluffy and we can see that we're getting those cool so those were uh, the way you can extract query problems from the URL. Now let's do the same for URL params. Uh, for that, we need to name the key of the URL param. So let's say cats. Uh, we'll stay with the cats endpoint. Let's say we call it data type. Uh, yeah, let's do. Let's call it data. Uh, so with the with the column, this is where, how you define the, the name of the uh, param. Now let's extract that. So let's do data uh, type. Whoops! Damn it! Come on. Let's take it from the URL and and this uh, string should it will be the same as we specified in the endpoint um, so now we have that now let's do something like that let's say that if data type uh, equals to json then we will return sorry string it's the first string then we will return all of that Oops. and if data type equals to JSON then we'll return a json object so let's see how we do that the response code will be the same now let's create a, a map <coughs> a golang map yeah, sorry. So which will be a key of strings with the value of string and let's say that the name will be cat name and type will be cat type cool now if neither of those uh, conditions are met let's return a let's say it will be json with code of um, status let's say bad Quest, which is a 400 yeah it is a 400 uh, and it will be a json string of strings and it will basically say an error uh, let's say Oops, you need to, let's see, uh, 
uh, something of this sort, of, let's say, whatever, doesn't really matter for now. Yeah, so let's compile it. Run it. And now, let's add the URL param, which will be, let's say, string. And we get a string, let's say JSON, and we get a JSON, and let's say something else, and we get the error. Cool. So, so I guess this is it. And uh, keep watching the series. Thank you, and goodbye.